there are things that we use in putting off these fires. So number one, say Jani ba we are talking of number one method of extension, which I would say starving of the fire. I didn't go to the science because I told you I wouldn't go to the science. But there are three things that brings about fire, and oxygen is one. Inframa. So ojebi ishi wa baby, nasa we nyam frama dudua and koswara and she ebedum. And therefore, if there's fire in your room and you are able to go out, closing all doors and windows behind you, you will starve the fire, and the fire will not continue. It will go off by itself. So that is another way by which you can put off the fire. Starving the fire. Number two, under the starving, is also separating the burning items from the burnt ones. It is a piece in a anti-oti a a piece in a certain fire. If I'm able to remove all items around the PC area, any be and feed it on to sustain the burning. So another way by which you can put off the fire, but not using any method, any, any device, is starving the fire. Number two is cooling. Cooling is where you put on water on the burning item. But wherever you find yourself, before you apply the cooling aspect of extension, you must make sure that the fire does not involve electricity. And therefore, you go to the mains to switch off your mains before you put water on whatever that is burning. And then the last one is modeling. When S-M-O-O-T-E-R-I-N-G, you smother the face of face of the water. So until you baby a filling stations be here, you find fire service going there with some form of chemicals. Into the chemicals, you know, you flood it, the the burning area, the surface with that chemicals. Into from an into mean come, ne jana sustain it, so it goes off. And we have them in water tanks, and then also in smaller cylinders. We call it foam concentrate. So that is another three ways by which you can put off your uh, your fire. If it happens with your car. Do not put water on it. All you have to do is that make sure that you have what is called the fire extinguisher in your vehicle. So when the fire starts from the engine compartment, all you do is that go to the vent and spray. Then you wait. Spray about three times. Open the bonnet and you see that the fire is off. And therefore make sure that you have it. So these are the methods in which you can use to put off your fire. And then we have the last one, which is the blanketing. Blanketing what is burning. It, you know, in homes, we advise that let's all have some old blankets and towels that we don't, have, we don't use them. So that in case of fire, we use that particular device to cover. We are talking about blanketing the fire, not to sustain. So you cover the surface of the fire, and the fire will go off. The use of the fire extinguisher, they do it, mommy. All these things are here. Catch on me. All these things are here to secure the head from accidental operation. Because if the seal is not there and the pin is also not here, if you hit it, it will operate. And therefore, manufacturers have done it in such a way that they secure the head at any given time. If a extinguisher is there ready to be used, you might find, find these things on the seal, the key on it. It tells you that it is ready to be used. So the first P is to pull the safety pin. By pulling the safety pin, you do as if you are starting your car. Like this, you see that the seal is gone. So you turn it. Uh -huh. So you turn, you start it, pull the safety pin, aim at the seat of the fire. You are aiming at what is really burning and not the flame. So you aim. And the first S is to strike. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> you strike because if the cylinders are there, because the horn, this is called the horn. It, this is what the content is coming through it. If it is there for a period, cupboards can enter. So you strike just to clear the air, the way for the coming. Then the second S is to sweep. So sweep for them to know, aha, uh -huh. you fight fire just like that. So you sweep. So if the first P is to pull the safety pin. As soon as you pull, the seal will just go off. And then you aim at what is burning. And then you sweep first, clear the way, and then squeeze continuous, like 
shelters. And then the fire will go off. You remove the safety pin. You lift it. You <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's done it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Wow. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. When there's a smoke within a room, the smoke rolls at the upper part of the room. So the best way you can save yourself within that short of time is that you go down. The smoke is up, and definitely when you get down, there's a, a little bit of oxygen down there because the smoke does not occupy the whole place as far as the ground aspect. So go down on your knees as the whole room is on your smoke, and then walk at the four corners of your room to your door. Since the place is where you live, you know where your items are. If it is about electricity, when you get to the door, the, the door use your back hand and test the door lock and see whether it is not electrocuted. If not, then you open and get out. And like I'm saying, the best way to do is do not stand upright when there's a smoke in your room. Always, any time you find yourself within, with smoke in your room, go down. There's a little oxygen down there for you to breathe a bit to get to your door. At least it will not be much time, but at least that short time you can do something to save yourself. If you get to the door and the door is electrocuted, that is where you find yourself something to open. That's why I'm saying that. Know your room. Place certain things in your room for your own safety. So that when it happens like that, you can fall on them to break through to get outside. If it is the window, find means where you can go through the window and get yourself out, if only it's safe. So please, in, within the rooms that we, we live, make sure that items that will make your movement or your stay in that room comfortable and safe, do it. Make this wood, straight edges wood available for anything that you can do. Even if it is the light that you want to put it off and the light is not going, use any wood that is dry and put it off. If it is the door, use the wood to open and you can go. So this is what I can say. Okay.